Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more project ideas and tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own design in Design Space. If you're not familiar with Design Space yet or you're just starting out, it's pretty simple and easy to use. So I'm going to walk you through how I made my personalized heart sign from video two of this series. So I'm just starting out here in a new document. And what we're going to do is go into images. And the image we're looking for is under three hearts. And scroll down. This is a free file, so just click that and insert. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. Now I want to isolate the one heart on the right. So what I'm going to do is bring in a square. Now just reposition your square so that it's covering the picture that you want to use. So in this case it's going to be this heart over here on the right. On the right side here it says square and heart straw. So what we're going to do is select both of those and then down at the bottom we're going to press slice. So what the slice button did was cut the heart shape into our square. So now what we can do is just, and then I'm just going to go around and just delete all the extra parts that I don't want. So now we have the heart that we're going to use for this stencil. Just make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Then let's just flip it. and maybe just turn it a bit just to position it nicely how I'm going to on my board. Okay, that looks about good. And now we can add our text. So just click on text on the left, type in your name. We'll just move this over a little bit here. And then pick your font. So just highlight the word and then click on your font. I'm gonna be using Falling Free, which I got from Defont. So you're going to see there's a big space here. So how to get rid of the space between the letters. What we're going to do is on the top right, click ungroup. So this is going to separate all the letters. And now what you do is just kind of move the letters over how you like them. Just line it up nice. Make sure there's no little edges sticking up. Good. Now I'm happy with my placement. So what I'm going to do is select all four of these letters again and group them back together. Just rotate it and I'm going to make it a different color because I'm going to cut these on two different mats. So now we just kind of line it up. I don't like that it's too wide, so just unlock on the bottom and we're going to just move it a little bit and just stretch it and skew it how you like. So I'm just going to make mine a bit skinnier. And we are done! Well, I hope you liked this video and that it helped you become more comfortable with design space in the future. I'll show you what the finished project looks like. And for the full video on how to make this one, you can check out the tutorial on my channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. See you next time.